I'm excited. This makes this makes me excited. As an active fan of everything Darksiders, naturally, I'm very, very, very excited at this news. I didn't think that we would get a Darksiders 3 yet. I, I thought they were testing the waters with Definitive Edition and the remaster, but... Anyway, Darksiders 3 was leaked today and then revealed shortly after the leak, and I have every single bit of information on the internet about this game that I'm going to be sharing with you now. Published by THQ Nordic and developed by Gunfire Games, Darksiders 3 is supposed to release some at some point, I don't know when, in 2018, but it's for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC, of course. As far as gameplay details are concerned, the game is set to be an open-world action-adventure with a focus on exploration and environmental puzzles. Yes. Of course, you're still going to have that signature hack-and-slash gameplay with our new protagonist, Horseman, Horsewoman, Fury. She's one of the four remaining Nephilim and horsemen of the apocalypse, and her weapon is an amazingly cool, fiery whip. But she doesn't just have a whip, she's also a mage, so she's going to utilize both her whip and magic to restore the balance between good and evil on Earth. I'll get into that, the story element, in a second. So as far as her magic is concerned, apparently she's going to be able to use that to unleash her various forms, each form granting her access to new weapons, moves, and traversal abilities. So she's going to be very mobile and very adaptable. Personally, I'm a huge fan of the original Darksiders, Darksiders 1, and Darksiders 2. I know people have their problems with Darksiders 2, but I really like that game. Not just because death is cool, but I like the gameplay, I like the music, I love the art style. Anyway, my point is, what I'm hoping that Darksiders 3 is, is the perfect combination of the best of both worlds, of Darksiders 1 and Darksiders 2. And it looks like that's kind of exactly what they're going for. Because they say you're exploring an open-ended living, freeform game world in which Fury can move back and forth between environments to uncover secrets while advancing the story. Speaking of which, the events of Darksiders 3 are set at the same time as Darksiders 2, so basically the two stories are happening at the same time. And here's something that won't help your depression. Darksiders 2 came out almost five years ago. Yeah. The plot leading up to Darksiders 3 starts with Darksiders 1, which takes place after the unlawful breaking of six of the Seven Seals, sparking the End War and setting the battlefield for the Battle of Armageddon. This apocalyptic war was waged between the kingdoms of Heaven and Hell, with the Third Kingdom, that of Man, being the battleground to determine the eternal fate of the souls of Man upon Judgment Day. Skipping to Darksiders 3, after War was accused by the Charred Council of starting the apocalypse prematurely and subsequently imprisoned, the Council informed Fury and the other two horsemen, Death and Strife, of War's fate. The Charred Council ordered Fury to go to Earth and destroy the seven deadly sins who were ravaging it. And of course, the seven deadly sins are all going to be unique designs which are going to look baller in Darksiders art style. In fact, let me read this excerpt. Expansive post-apocalyptic environments that take the player from the heights of heaven to the depths of hell, dilapidated by war and decay, and overrun by nature. Yes! I've got some great news. Gunfire Games' development team includes a lot of ex-Vigil Games employees who worked on both Darksiders games, including the game director, uh, technical director, executive producer, lead environment artist, and more. If you're wondering what Gunfire Games has done since the studio's formation, well, they've uh, they've worked on Darksiders 2, Death Definitive Edition, and Kronos, which is apparently an amazing VR game, and, and to some, the best VR game of 2016. I'd have to say, my main concern for this game is money, and I hope that Gunfire Games gets a large enough budget to uh, make the Darksiders game that fans have been wanting. Reportedly, the budget for Darksiders 2 was around $50 million. I don't know if that includes marketing. And the owner of Nordic Games said that that was absolutely ridiculous. We can produce a product of the same quality for a lower cost, and that it should have been anywhere near $50 million. So, I'm all for uh, smart budgets and smart budgeting, but I hope they get all that they need. The story sounds great, the trailer is cool, and the gameplay stills look incredible. And Fury, F Fury, Fury looks so cool. She's got, she's got a whip. It's a, it's a fire whip. She's got cool ass armor, cool ass hair, cool face, cool voice. As an enormous fan of Darksiders who's played all the games and read all the comics, it's interesting to see how her concept art has changed over the years. Yes. 
So it looks like they're doing their original plan of Darksiders 1 focused on war, Darksiders 2 focused on death, 3 on fury, and 4 on strife. Everybody is excited about strife. My man Strife was badass guns, you goddamn right. I'm hoping that they do strife and Darksiders 5 is all four of them with the co-op. And then I'll cut my man Strife out and make four co-op and strife. Uh-uh. No. Do not! And if if, if, if if you're one of those people, you know, one of those, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, actually, the, the, the horsemen are war, death, famine, and pestilence, who is known as conquest in the old scriptures. Well, pestilence and, and famine have been replaced by fury and strive, okay? Okay! It's the lore of the game. And I'm sorry, but wielding scales as a weapon? Quite lame. So that's Darksiders 3 right now and everything we know about it. As soon as we get more information, of course, there's going to be another video right here and on Twitter. Very fast, very quick. So if you found this video informative or entertaining, leave a like. And if you're a Darksiders fan, subscribe for more Darksiders stuff, because it will come. Or follow me on social media for really quick gaming news. Anyway, thank you for watching and thank you for Darksiding the... For wow, that pun fell apart. <laughs> I'll see you guys soon. Take care.